everyone, welcome to day three of Seven Days of Congress. Um, today I did a really fun, really bold Western pleasure look to go with this holographic pink bolero vest. Give me one second. Voila. It doesn't exactly fit me. It is an extra small, small kind of thing, and I am not an extra small, small kind of thing. So I just wanted to do this as an inspiration piece. Um, but basically my thought process with this look is you can do this with turquoise, blue, green, purple, whatever color you want to. It is a bright pop of color in the crease with a black smoky eye and then the lip can totally be changed. But I really was inspired to do something with this vest. I love this vest. We have some detailing on the back. We have big crystals. We have all Swarovskis. So anyways, I really hope you guys like this look. I am taking appointments from the 17th through the 26th at Congress this year. I will, well, I was gonna say I'll leave a link. This year I'm not using my website, so just go ahead and I will leave my Facebook down in the description. And if you would like to schedule an appointment, either contact me via Facebook, email, um, Instagram, any of the above. So that holographic pink bolero is one that Horsha Beauty's Designs came out with, which is my mom and I's show clothing business. Um, it is available for sale. I think I'm gonna bring it to the Congress. I will link the Facebook post to it um, in the description as well. But if you guys wanna see it at the Congress, I can totally bring it you can try it on whatever it may be if you like to see how I get this then just keep on watching so my eyes are already primed with the Urban Decay eyeshadow prime potion in the color Eden it helps cancel out a little bit of like veins and redness but it's also gonna prime to make sure your eyeshadow lasts all day and doesn't crease then I'm going in with the makeup forever palette this I know has been discontinued but let's see I'm using the pink shade so I think that's the color me 700 it's a bright pink kind of metallic shade and I'm taking this on a smudge brush by Bo Gosh and I'm just gonna put this right into the crease and it doesn't matter if it gets on the lid that's totally fine but I do want it to be pretty bright so that when we put the black on it doesn't take away from the pink too much now I'm taking the elf black cream eyeshadow or eyeliner and then I'm taking an eco tools double-sided brush I'm just taking kind of a flat dense brush and this is gonna act as a base for the black shade to make it as black as possible And then what I'm doing is I'm flipping the brush over so I just kept that cream close as close to the lash line as possible and then I took it up almost to the crease but not quite. And then I flipped the brush over and it has a blending brush on the other side and I'm just softening the edges. This will make it easier when we go in with the black eyeshadow to blend it into the pink rather than having a really harsh line. Then while the base is still a little bit tacky, I'm taking the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette and I'm getting this black shimmery shade called Cool Coal Under Pressure. It's right here. Any black shimmery shade will do. I know Anastasia has a single. And then on top of that black shade, I'm just packing this color on. And then I'm going to take this a little higher into the crease, just a little. Now I'm taking a Morphe M562. It's a super tiny, tiny blending brush. And I'm just going to go in very, very small circles on the edge of this black. The, the hardest part about black is to not over blend it. So using little teeny tiny brushes like this and not taking the black all the way to where you actually want it to end up will help you. Now I'm just taking a little bit of that black shade on this brush. Tapping off the excess and then going into the crease again. This is going to help me bring the color a little higher up. Just working a very small amount. Then on the Eco Tools brush, I'm taking more of the black. Making sure that this inner corner is intense black. It looked like it had faded a little. And then just touching up. As you blend a black shade, it's going to lose some of its pigment, so you always go back in and just touch it up. It's okay if you get eyeshadow over here. I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe. <clears throat> I'm going to clean up the inner corner and then the outer corner. And then you want to keep this handy. This is a Sephora Collection exfoliating wipe, so it's textured on one side and then smooth on the other. I'm going to leave the textured side up. Come back to that in a second. Going back into that cream liner, I'm just going to put this on the inner rim of my eye. So I'm just stamping it. 
And then I have this hot pink eyeliner, which is actually a liquid lipstick. And on this side, I just went right in over top of the black. But what happens is the pink mixes with the black. So you have to go over it a million times to get it pink. So on this side, I'm taking a Q-tip and some makeup remover. This is the Lancome by Facile. And I'm going to try to, hopefully this works out, just remove color or pigment from the lash line so that when I go in with eyeliner, it will pick up. And then for the liner, I'm using Dose of Colors Pinky Promise. It's a liquid lipstick, so technically they're not eye safe. So that's something to know. It's not made for the eyes. However, I like to use my liquid lipstick sometimes as eyeliner. So this is where the makeup wipe comes in really handy. I have a MAC 263 eyeliner brush. This is the best eyeliner brush you can get. It's really nice and narrow. But what I'm going to do is wipe off um, my brush on this pretty much after every time I go in with the eyeliner. Taking a little bit of eyeliner or a liquid lip. Then you can start to see it smudging black, so that's when I wipe off my brush. Taking a thin coat of mascara before I go in with lashes. For my lashes, I'm using the Sky Lashes in number SL19. Unfortunately, I don't think that they're selling lashes anymore. However, it's just a winged out lash. It reminds me of the Lily Lashes um, in the style Big Day. You find them at Sephora. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then I will be right back. Then I'm going in. You don't necessarily need this, but this is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Sparkle Shadow Liner in number 9 Opal. I like this, but there's also a shadow I put on top of this. So you don't probably need this, but it just gives a really nice duo chrome effect. Then in the Pretty Rich palette, I'm going in with Fletch Your Pearls. This is the one that's also kind of duochrome, so you don't necessarily need the gel liner underneath. And I'm also putting this right on the top of the brow bone. To finish up the eye look, I'm going in with another lip product. Um, there are pink eyeliners out there, I just don't own any. So I'm using a NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Pink Lust. And I'm going in with that smudge brush in the pink shade. I'm really making this smoky. Now on a Morphe M431 pencil brush, I'm taking that black shade. Making sure to tap off the excess because it is pretty powdery. And actually, before I go in with the pencil brush, I'm taking the black shade on a flat brush and getting close to the lash line. And I'm just using that pencil brush to blend that out. I'm just blending out that black a little bit extra with that same brush we used for the pink. So now I'm going to use that lip liner from NYX to, lip, to line my lips. Then going in with that Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. This is the completed look. I really hope you guys like it. I'm obsessed with it even though it is super bold, so you got to be bold to wear it. If you guys are interested in an appointment at the Congress, don't forget to schedule pronto. Spaces fill up super fast, especially on showmanship days. So schedule that and I will see you guys in day four of 70s of Congress.